Good evening. This is B970 from London, February 2014. Tonight, UK mainstream media, coast to coast and around the world. Alex Jones v. Pierce Morgan. You decide who who wins. wins. And why it's the end of the Pierce show, as Mr. Morgan's US chat show is axed. Those stories and more when we come back. Piers Morgan's primetime US television show is being axed three years after he was brought over in a blaze of publicity. The former Daily Mirror editor admitted his failure to connect with the American audience was behind the dramatic fall in ratings. Our Washington correspondent Robert Morton reports. For three years, Piers Morgan has been one of the highest profile Brits in America. At the beginning, he called his TV show here a perfect fit. But I think it's going to be quite good fun. I mean, I, I love working out in America and they... Uh, they seem to be quite like me, um, which I know will surprise many people back in Britain, but... However, it soon went wrong. How are you? I'm so wonderful. It's so nice. Yes, there were some prominent guests and memorable moments. Well, I'm Irish, you know. <laughs> and we Irish, we can imitate anybody. <laughs> but Morgan's campaign against guns may have been the beginning of the end. And you know something? What? It makes what? me sick when I hear people Pears. say that kind Pears. of thing. It culminated with tempers fraying. 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. And gun rights activists targeted his nationality. Pierce, don't try what your ancestors did before. Why don't you come to America? I'll take you out shooting. You can become an American and join the Republic. Today, that same shock jock was clearly reveling in Morgan's demise. Don't so let the door hit on your big old fat baboon booty. Bye bye, Pierce. Bye bye. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Morgan has acknowledged the problem, telling the New York Times, I'm a British guy debating American cultural issues, including guns, which has been very polarizing. And there is no doubt there are many in the audience who are tired of me banging on about it. Piers Morgan made his name as the brash editor of the Daily Mirror, though he lost his job there over faked photographs. How do you think the inquiry went? And in December, he was interviewed under caution by detectives investigating phone hacking at the Mirror. And being pulled away. But the fatal blow to Morgan's show may have been those plummeting ratings. That, in the world of prime-time American TV, is the ultimate sin. It would appear that the interview has just been ended. Robert Moore, ITV News, Washington. Last question.